Hello, and today we are going to be talking about kinetics. Now when we talk about kinetics, what we are talking about is the rate at which a chemical reaction proceeds. Now, we should all know about chemical reactions and that they happen. There's a lot of different things that can change the speed at which the reaction takes place. One such factor that we will be looking at today is temperature. To do this, we are going to be looking at glow sticks. Now inside the glow stick, there are some fluorescent dyes and hydrogen peroxide. And when you bend and snap your glow stick, a chemical reaction takes place and your glow stick glows. And today we are going to be seeing how high and low temperatures will affect the rate at the, of this reaction. So let's set this up. First, you're going to want to fill three cups with water. You're going to want to put one in the fridge or freezer and leave the other two on the counter for later. When your first cup of water is starting to get icy, take it out and put one of your cups that was on the counter in the microwave for about a minute and a half. Now that your cups of water are ready, you're going to want to take your glow sticks and put one in each cup for about four minutes. After the four minutes are over, you're going to want to break your glow sticks, put them back into their cups, and see what happens. Now what you should see is that the glow stick that was in the cold cup is now very dim, that the glow stick that was in the hot cup is now very bright, and that the glow stick that you left on the counter should be somewhere in between those two in brightness. This is because as temperature goes up, the little particles in your chemical reactions get excited and move faster. That explains why the reaction for your glow sticks glowing was much faster in the hot cup than the cup that you put on the counter or the cup that was in the freezer, because they weren't as excited.